I feel like all our brains are just mush at this point. I've got friends who live over there. I did see it. I went uh, on the big one last I bought a sign. They're all sold out right now. I think Oh, yeah. Can I interview one of, you, one of you two? Um, what, what's it for? Uh, I, I'm a member of East Kent uh, PSC and uh, this is for the, uh, the um, YouTube video. So okay. I'll like and uh, share, share the video yeah. around so yeah. you can share it around. Yeah. Um, uh, are you you're a vicar, local vicar? Um, I'm I'm a I'm a curate, which is curate. like a trainee vicar, okay. um, in Southwark Diocese. So I've come down from South London today. Oh. There's a group of local Christians yeah. who um, were trying to organise a little bit of a visible presence at the demo. Yeah. Um, so my friend Mo and I came down to give them a little bit of support. Okay. Um, but Sue is local, so maybe she would be a better person for you to have a okay. chat with. So, but you, you come you come a long way, so it's kind of interesting. And the, the fact that you're you're a curate and coming all this way kind of like uh, adds, adds a bit of uh, power to what, what's going on here. So, uh, what, what, I mean, were you invited around by the down by the local PSC group? Um, so we've been in touch with some uh, some local Christians who were coming to the demo, who were asking if we could support them. Yeah. Um, Sue and some other some other people. So we we came down with uh, with the, the Christians for Palestine banner. To, Christians for Palestine. Yeah. Okay, to, um, to give them a bit of support and help wow. build the momentum. Yeah. Okay. Who's your who's your, who, who's your um, MP for Southwark? Uh, so where I am, which is Putney and Roehampton, my MP is Fleur Anderson. Fleur Anderson, and is she, uh, she, is she voting for a C far? I've been saying anything for a C far. Um, she, she's been quite. She, she and I have had some really interesting twos and fro's, and I think she's quite, she's quite supportive. She knows what she's, she's um, quite clued up about what's going on in the Middle East. Yeah. I would like to hear her more explicitly calling for a ceasefire right now. Yeah. Um, but she certainly is um, supportive of the idea of lasting peace, which is really important, and has said some quite intelligent and interesting things. But yeah, yeah. I would like to hear well, her. She Talking for a ceasefire right now. Yeah. 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 Okay, thanks for the interview. Very welcome. And thanks for coming down. Hi, oh, yeah, you're, you're the local. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a pastor assistant in the Coxie Benefice, which is just south of Maystone. Pardon what? Pastoral assistant. Pastoral assistant. In, it's, a, it's an authorised uh, ministry within yeah. the Rochester Diocese. Oh, uh, Rochester. Yeah. Ma yes, Maystone is in Canterbury. We're on, right on an edge, so uh, we're yeah. in Rochester Diocese. Yeah. So, um, and um, yes, I, I'm a member of the. Uh, I own, I'm an associate member of the Iona community and a member of their Common Concern Network for Israel and Palestine. Yeah, okay. So I found out a lot about it this year. I just joined it this year. Yeah, yeah. And what do you think how, how the uh, Palestinians They've been are being treated well, right they've, now. They're being pushed. They've been oppressed for years. This mm. is kind of a culmination of, of, of uh, what's gone on for years. But um, yeah. to squash two two million people in a very small in area space. with tents and not feed them and not give them water to drink and just bomb in indiscriminately is <laughs> wrong, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know. All the children that have been killed and, and maimed and some children having operations to have limbs removed without anaesthetic. I mean, yeah, exactly. It's, it's horrible. And they've been given like uh, C sections to pregnant women without anaesthetic yes, as well. That's right, yeah. It's horrible. Um, it's unbelievable. It's unhuman, yes. Yeah. It's, it's inhuman. And people don't see this on mainstream media, do they? No, this is a problem. The BCC seems to be quite biased. Yeah. I listen to Al Jazeera. Yeah, I do too. Al Jazeera seems to yeah. be all Al Quds or, or um, 
the A Amos um, run run the wall uh, group is actually we get lots of posts from, from Palestinians and other yeah. people around the world who are supporting them. Oh, could, could you could you try speaking up because uh, yeah. with the, the noise and the, the traffic, the traffic. It's kind of drowns out the speaker. Okay, um, the, the Amos Trust yeah. uh, supports Palestinians. Has done for a long, long time, yeah. and they have a each year they do a run the wall, which is a marathon that happens in Bethlehem, I believe. But you can do the running or walking here in support for them. So I'm in that group um, because I walked for them last year and um, we get in posts all the time from Palestinians around the world giving us up-to-date information about what's happening. Right. And it's tragic. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ask you another question. But I, uh, oh yes, uh, what do you think of uh, the Archbishop of Canterbury's um, comment about it not being apartheid in Israel? That's what he said in September. He, he said there's no apartheid yes, he in did. Israel. Yeah. Yes, he said that. Yes, he did in a talk. I can't believe that. No. 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 He's made better statements since then, I have to say, but uh, I was appalled when I heard him say that. Yeah. And he, is he calling for a ceasefire? I, I can't, I'm not up to date with what he's written, so I wouldn't like to say, but, uh, yeah, but uh, uh, everyone wants a ceasefire, surely. Yeah. Why, are, why aren't uh, other Anglicans uh, call, calling him out on this? Because they must be seeing what's going on in Palestine. Well, there are, there are. In groups that, that I, I'm associated with, there are people who are writing to him. And, um, and I've written to my bishop too, so, uh, yeah. you know. Do you, do you think the Archbishop has a vested interest because he's, a, he's an ex-oil exec, isn't he? Well, I, I could comment on that, I don't no, know, okay. I don't know. I think he's got Jewish heritage, but so have I. But no. that doesn't mean the Palestinians should be treated the way they are. No, exactly. I've got Jewish friends as well uh, who, who've come, come along to the meeting from Canterbury. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I quite agree. I mean, uh, they like say that like, uh, they, they conflate Judaism with Zionism, don't yes, they? Yes. That's, that's not, that's and it's the state of Israel that's doing this. It's mm. nothing to do with them, yeah. us being against Jews. It's yeah. the, the, the government of the country that's doing oh, it. Yeah. 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 Okay, thank you for the uh, thank you for the interview. Thank you. I got up and stand full, I think, and then, you know, as far as you can see, I can see. Can I interview you? Yeah, of course you can. Okay. This is, a, uh, this is an old friend of mine from uh, 999 March for the NHS. Uh, what's, your, what's your name again? Louise. Louise, that's it. Yeah, right, okay. You're, you're, you're a member, you're, you're the head of uh, which union? Well, I'm uh, the International's um, Chair of the International Committee from the National Education Union. Yeah. Uh, but I'm also Vice Chair of Palestine Solidarity Campaign nationally. Uh, oh, yeah. So I'm here representing PSC today. Okay. That's great. And uh, you used to be a headmistress, didn't you? Weren't you? I did a long I time you, ago. You, you, you washed our feet. Kind of I thing. did wash your feet. That is <laughs> very true. That was quite a long time ago. But yeah, yes, really yes, yes. Ago, uh, right. It was a very good and very important campaign, yeah. the uh, NHS campaign. Really appreciate your help, Louise. Yeah, no like, um, so, so um, what's uh, what's your view of what's going on in Palestine, Israel now? Is it like? Uh, is it a disaster area and, and what the unions view, view and what's going on? Yeah, are, I mean... Are they, are they taking any action or calling for uh, embargoes or anything? Yeah, I mean, the NEU has been active from the start, really. I mean, we've got a very long history of standing in solidarity with the Palestinian people, so it's not sort of new, but... Um, Following the, uh, the events of the 7th of October, we have issued numerous statements and called for a ceasefire. Uh, we've attended all of the national demonstrations and which, you know, to build a trade union block there. Our general secretary and our national president have spoken regularly on platforms, as have, part, as have I at the national demonstrations. And we built for the Workplace Day of Action this week, so I encourage members to get involved. Uh, to raise awareness in their schools, to talk to their colleagues. We've also got a fundraiser that we launched with Save the Children, specifically targeted at getting funds in to support children. 
uh, in Gaza. But obviously, you know, our, our key concern at the moment is to, um, to, to call for a ceasefire, permanent ceasefire, and for the lifting of the blockade to allow humanitarian aid in because it is a humanitarian crisis as we can see on our TV screens every day. Yeah. And, um, oh, work in London. Yeah, do you know what the yeah. TUC's view uh, really, really on this? What's going on? Have they made a statement? I, I yeah, yeah, I mean... We don't, we don't hear much of what the TUC... Um, so, yeah, yeah, no, I mean, they, did, they have issued a statement calling for ceasefire. They support that call. Um, and uh, and obviously support that you know humanitarian aid should be allowed in because uh, you know it's not a, it's not an unreasonable request. So they have issued a couple of statements. They've also um, contacted the Foreign Office uh, to put pressure on them, particularly um, since the rule, the ICJ ruling, obviously because that sort of should have been something the government should have taken up and seen once that interim ruling came out uh, where the International Court of Justice was saying you know that they were, they were issuing preliminary measures you know we would have expected governments globally to take action on that and to be putting pressure on Israel um, to, to halt what they were doing um, and to allow humanitarian aid in. Okay. Um, what's your view of St Starma? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, so he's been very lackluster, like, 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 changing his views yeah. very yeah. often yeah. and uh, yeah. not calling for a ceasefire when he know, knows exactly what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do you think uh, the, the election, um, will you be supporting him if, as, uh, if, he, if, if he's re-elected? in the um, end of this year mm. with the general elections coming up. Would you support him as a Labour yeah. leader? I mean, I will only support politicians who are calling for an immediate ceasefire um, and for humanitarian aid to be allowed in. But also, I think they have to go beyond that. They have to look. This isn't something that started on the 7th of October. They're, you know, Palestinians have su suffered decades of oppression and dispossession. I want politicians who are going to fight for justice and freedom for the Palestinian people long term. Yeah. So, so often uh, politicians who have called, called for Palestinian justice have been called um, called racist and uh, anti-Semites and uh, 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 Corbyn is the, the best exceptional example of that. Um, so what what should people should have people been brainwashed over the years, do you believe? I think to... people have been intimidated by the huge amount of pressure that has been put on and by these allegations that to support Palestinian rights you are anti-Semitic, but I do not accept that. I think standing uh, up um, for people who are oppressed, uh, people who have lived under occupation for decades, you know, we've seen very uh, high profile reports about the fact that Israel is an apartheid regime. I think standing up for that and speaking out against what is happening to the Palestinian people is clearly not anti-Semitic. I think it is something that is used to silence us and we should not allow ourselves to be silenced. Yeah. And uh, do you get much request for um, uh, talk with the mainstream media? Do the mainstream media talk to you about your views? Or will um, they totally ignore you? I mean, I think since the 7th of October, October, PSC nationally have had more mainstream media coverage, but not enough, in my opinion. Um, and actually, there should be, there should always be Palestinian voices, and voices of those supporting them, um, you know, in the mainstream media. Yeah. Okay, Louisa, thank you for coming no all the way down here. Yeah. Nice, nice to, to see you. Nice to see you too. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking it's anyone too piercing, man. Yeah. Yeah. Too piercing loud, man. For such a little thing, John. Hi, John. Um... <laughs> 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 I charge. <laughs>